Dear students, let us continue the topic Physical Features of Asia. Today, we will cover the Southern Plateaus, the Great River Basins and the Islands. The first one is the Southern Plateaus. In the southern part of Asia, there are three plateaus in the form of peninsula, which are referred to as the Southern Plateaus. Peninsula basically refers to a piece of land which is surrounded by water on three sides. The three southern plateaus are the Arabian Plateau, the Dakkan Plateau and the Plateau of Shan and Yunnan. Let us discuss these plateaus in detail. First one, the Arabian Plateau is located in Arabian Peninsula covering most part of the country of Saudi Arabia. It is a dry plateau because it lies in the region of low rainfall and it has no rivers. Its importance to the world lies in the fact that huge petroleum reserves were discovered here in the 20th century. The second one is the Dakkan Plateau. This plateau lies in India. It is steeper and higher along Arabian Sea in the west and slopes gently towards Bay of Bengal in the east. A number of rivers flow across this plateau like Godavari, Krishna and Kaveri. The third one is the plateau of Shan and Yunnan. It lies in the Shan state of Myanmar and Yunnan state of China. The rivers that flow through these plateaus are Savin and Mekong. The next physical feature is the Great River Basins. Here, firstly understand the meaning of river basin. A river basin is an area of land which is drained by a river and its tributaries. The major river basins of Asia are the first one is the valley of Mesopotamia or the Mesopotamian plains. The word Mesopotamia means between the rivers in Greek language. These plains are located in Iraq and formed by the rivers Euphrates and Tigris that flows into the Persian Gulf. The second one is the valley of Indus that lies in India and Pakistan. It is formed by the river Indus and its five tributaries are Ravi, Jhelum, Vyas, Satlaj and Chenab. This valley covers a large area in Pakistan and India. The third one is the valley of Ganga and Brahmaputra or the Ganga Brahmaputra plains. These plains spread across North India and Bangladesh. These are built up by the rivers Ganga and Brahmaputra. The next one is the Great Plains of China, which are formed by the three large rivers, the Huangho, the Changjiang, also called Yangtze and Sikyang. These rivers empty into the Pacific Ocean. Now, let us have a look at the formation of these river basins. Many rivers originate from the snow laden mountains and flow through plains bringing large quantity of fertile alluvial soils and deposit them in their respective valleys. This is how the great river basins are formed. Due to fertile soil and adequate water availability, Many civilizations have flourished in these river basins. For example, the Indus Valley Civilization, Mesopotamian Civilization and Chinese Civilization. In the present also, these river basins are the most populated regions in the world and Asia. The last physical feature is the islands. There are many island groups east and southeast of the mainland of Asia. 
Most of the islands are the unsubmerged parts of old mountains and volcanic mountains. Most of the islands are frequently affected by the earthquakes and volcanic activity because they are part of Pacific Ring of Fire. Pacific Ring of Fire refers to a chain of volcanoes surrounding the Pacific Ocean. The most important island groups are first is Kurile or Kuril Islands. They extend from Kamchatka Peninsula up to the main islands of Japan. Further southwards are the islands of Taiwan, Philippines and Indonesia. The last and the most significant island is Mud Volcano Island. NASA's Earth Observing 1 satellite captured the birth of a new island off the coast of Gwadar in Balochistan, Pakistan. After an earthquake of about 7.8 on Richter scale on 24th September 2013, the island is oozing out methane and mud. Therefore, it is named as Mud Volcano Island and this has been confirmed by the National Institute of Oceanography, Pakistan.